Welcome back. We are in an infinite search for great new small YouTube channels. And the last time we left off, we were checking out Jealous Marble Runs. But, like I said, we're searching for great small YouTube channels. We come across, we find a lot of, maybe we have to find all these small YouTube channels over here. But if you take a look at my subscription list, there is already a great YouTube channel over here. And that is this one. Dylan Dao, Dylan Dao 3000. So let's check that out. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Channel Zapper. I'm Honest R, and this week we take a look at this great little Let's Play channel, Dylando 3000. Now, Dylando 3000 is run by Sven Groot. He is a Dutch guy and he's currently living, I think, in America. Yeah, he lives in America right now. So, what kind of channel does Sven Groot run? Well, first, when you watch a video of him, he will welcome you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. back. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Welcome back. So, what kind of games does he let's play on his channel? Well, they're mostly adventure games, from old to new. Like, the old ones include games like King's Quest, Police Quest, Space Quest. And more of the recent adventure games he played are the Longest Journey chapters, or the most recent one he does on his channel is Abduction. But, you also find a little bit of a different taste now then. He also has Portal and he's a great fan of Mass Effect. And but you might think there are like a million Let's Play channels and there are plenty other maybe Let's Play channels that do adventure games. What makes him so special? Well, what makes Sven so special is that he actually knows a little bit about the game and some of the games like The Longest Journey or Abduction he backed up himself by the Kickstarter they needed to make this game. So he knows about the games, about a little bit about the history of the games, how they came to be. Hello and welcome to Let's Play King's Quest V. Absence makes the heart go yonder. As King's Quest IV was the first game using the SCI engine, King's Quest V was the first VGA point-and-click game Sierra ever made. Full Throttle was made in 1995 by LucasArts, who back in the 90s were Sierra's main competitor when it came to adventure games. Dreamfall Chapters is the long-awaited sequel to Dreamfall, which was originally released in 2006. Miscreator Cyan Worlds had been pretty quiet since Myst 5 came out, with only a few products released since then, most of which were re-releases of Myst and Riven for various platforms. And, and while he's playing the games, it's not, it's not just, oh, we have to go over there so quickly as possible. No, he likes to explore these games to like the fullest, to 100%. He will look everywhere, he will explain why he's doing things, he, he reminds you of, what, of why he's doing things, why, why do you need to use like a certain item or... What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's one big fish. Yep. Unlike the well-guarded castle entrance, this area is deserted. Perhaps the guards are confident that the wall itself is impregnable enough to stop any would-be intruders. Okay, so all we need is uh, some TNT, and we'll be able to break in quite easily. The wall is quite solid. Alexander's hands would give way long before the wall did. Well, when in doubt, C4. And if there are multiple ways to to solve a puzzle, he will explain why he's doing it like, in this particular way instead of the other. Because like in the old adventure games, like Police Quest, so you can score points. And you will also always go for the maximum value of points. And some puzzles, uh, if you solve them one way, they make less points than the other way. And he will explain them why he will choose the latter, 
so he made the most points. And some other instances, like in the longest journey, sometimes there is a path where you can choose multiple directions. And he will choose one and he will explain a, a little bit if what will happen if you change, if you would choose the other one. So that's about it. I think this is a wonderful man. I think you should go support him. Especially he does this really only for fun because there are no advertisements on his channel. So I said he only does this for fun. He really likes to show you these adventures games. And if you think, hey, this uh, channel sounds like fun, go please check him out. I'll put the link in the description. So this was Channel Zapper for this week. Please let me know, go check out his channel and please let me know what did you think of his channel. And more importantly, if you have a website or sorry, a channel that you think, oh my God, this is a great channel. Please tell me, I will go check it out. And maybe I will put it in my next episode or some in the future episodes of Channel Zapper. And if you like my content, you know, maybe subscribe to me. That will be awesome. Also follow me on Twitter. And that's, that's it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time on a new episode of Channel Zapper or any other videos you might want to check out on my channel. Goodbye.